Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, Warner Brothers cartoon implosion and John Cena getting canceled. Uh, Warner Brothers has shelved the fully completed Coyote vs. Acme movie for another tax write off. They keep doing this. Yeah. Like, they keep getting completed movies and they just like don't even put them out. It was what, the uh, second Scoob movie they did this to? They did it to the Batgirl. Batgirl. And uh, now they're doing, and this was, I guess, completely done. And they, they decided they just want to take the write off. And look, there are a lot of weird things going on with animation and Warner Brothers. And it, it's very clear they don't know what to do, but whatever they're going to do, it's not going to be good for the animation industry. It's not going to be good for animators. They're more interested in tax write offs at this point. And we're seeing a lot of people that work for Cartoon Network, like not getting jobs. They had uh, Rebecca Sugar. Uh, they had an interview with her because it's the 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary of Steven Universe. That sounds about right. And she hasn't really done anything since then. And she put out like an album or something, you know, and she's not exactly getting phone calls. But where are you going to work? Like everybody's cutting back on the animation, you know, so. I'm sorry, I'm just sitting here like imagine that. Imagine that. So let's uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, speaking of woohoos, you'll get a woohoo if you support Shadowbinders Volume 3. Woohoo. Uh, yeah, look at that. There's 442 woohoos that you need to do. Do them right now. No. No, okay. <laughs> so go <gasps> out to woo -hoo, shop. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I'm going to cry. Just put that on They're going to start turning into boohoo. Yeah, just, just put that on loop a couple of times. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, go out back, uh, volume three, on shopclownfish.com. This is our Indiegogo replacement. We're no longer using Indiegogo because Indiegogo, we don't trust them. Let's just put it that way. We don't trust them anymore. Sorry. Uh, but uh, if you want to back the third Shadowbinders, go out and you can grab one and two if you haven't done so already. Uh, not a lot of those left. So uh, grab it while you can. Let's talk about this. Let's talk mm -hmm. about this uh, movie I didn't even know existed. Until, I didn't either. It's the first until I heard today. It. Yeah. Apparently there's a John Cena voiced uh, Wiley Coyote movie. Okay. And uh, uh, while well, it's gone now, we're never going to see it. Um, so this come from Cartoon Brew. The boneheaded movie hating management of Warner Brothers Discovery has canned another fully completed film. That's what I understand. If it's fully completed, you can at least claw some money back, right? Or are they like, this thing's not going to make money. We're going to spend more money on marketing and production of Blu-rays or whatever. So just whatever. But they said it's the live action animation hybrid Coyote versus Acme based on the character created by Chuck Jones. The film had originally been greenlit for streaming on Max, but turned out well enough later to be considered for a theatrical release. But no, they got rid of it. So just um, put on Max. Just put on Max, right? Uh, this is not the first time the studio has discarded a nearly finished or completed film as a write-off. Last year it was, yeah, Scoob, Holiday Haunt, mm -hmm. and Batgirl. Deadline reports that the uh, film, which tested extremely well with audiences, won't even be offered to other companies, even though Amazon was interested in acquiring it for their streaming service. The tax write-off is apparently more valuable to Warner Brothers than any potential third-party wow. pickup. Wow. Because we're saying a testimony, not well enough. Amazon was trying to get it. Yeah, it's John Cena too. So like, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's a very odd decision. Uh, and again, it just comes down to money. I mean, that's all Warner Brothers cares about. People are like all these people care about. All these companies care about it's money. I'm like, yes, of course, of course, it's a corporation. That's all they care about. If they don't care about money, then they don't stay in business. So yeah. So I guess it was a satirical piece that was in the 1990 issue of the New Yorker. Basically, Wally Coyote sues Acme because you know, he's always buying stuff from Acme and they always don't work. <laughs> and apparently his former boss at another law firm played by John Cena represents Acme. Yeah. So it's it's actually a really funny premise because, yeah, he's always using his Acme stuff and it always they always break. And he always gets like smashed into something because they, they don't work. So this is the uh, the director, Dave Green. This is what he said on Twitter. He said, for three years, I was lucky enough to make a movie about Wiley Coyote, the most persistent, passionate, and resilient character of all time. I was surrounded by a brilliant team who poured their souls into this project for years. We were all determined to honor the legacy of these historic characters and actually get them right. Oh, that'd be a refreshing change. Get them right. That's cool. Along the ride, we were embraced by test audiences who rewarded us with fantastic scores. I'm beyond proud of the final product and beyond devastated by Warner Brothers decision, but the spirit of Wile E. Coyote uh, resilience and persistence will win the day, win the day. Yeah. I mean, if it tested really well, I, I don't understand why they're not 
could at least put it in theaters or at least max or so, sell it to somebody else. I, apparently that must be a damn good write-off. So this is the guy who was in charge of Scott Pilgrim. He said it's the, the best film of his kind since Roger Rabbit. Oh, see, that's sad because I kind of, I don't like Roger Rabbit that much. I love Roger but, Rabbit. But this sounds like, it, right? this the whole premise sounds funny. So better you know? than better than the last Space Jam movie, right? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't take much. Yeah. Um, God, that's, and they said that they, they were trying to get right. I mean, that's one thing I, I have a problem with Warner Brothers is how they've been dealing with the Looney Tunes characters, especially that last one where uh, Elmer Fudd didn't have a gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, which is kind of like his thing. Um, but yeah, they're saying this is insane. First of all, fuck a business model that incentivizes this. Secondly, this movie is great. I was lucky enough to get to see some of this hilarious with incredible animation. It's a disgusting turn of events, especially with a huge gaping hole in the release calendar. Yeah, that, that gets me too, because like, they don't have a lot of movies coming out because of the strikes. They could put this one out. It's in the can. It's done. You know, it's done. Just put it out and they won't do it. I mean, if it sucked, that's one thing. Cause people said the Batgirl movie is pretty bad. Yeah. They thought they but said, they was, keep saying this is really good. Yeah. If this is a really good movie and Warner brothers historically has been known for animation and Wiley e. coyote and Roadrunner are beloved Looney Tunes characters release it. And they won't. Uh, so this is what Warner Brothers said. It said, with the relaunch of Warner Brothers Pictures Animation in June, the studio has shifted its global strategy to focus on theatrical releases. It's got John Cena. You can release it theatrically. With this new direction, we have made the difficult decision to not move forward with it. Uh, we have tremendous respect for the filmmakers, cast, crew, and grateful for the contributions to the film and to our bank account the right. tax incentive. Well, I'm looking here and they're talking about they're going to relaunch their feature animation division uh, as Warner Brothers Pictures Animation, but it's currently developing these things that most of them don't even sound that great. Um, Bad Fairies, Bad the Fairies. Lunar Chronicles, Dr. Seuss animated features, The Cat in the Hat, Know the Places You'll Go, and those are what they're working on. But they're going to get rid of this one. And they said they haven't been able to crack the kids' market. But then I don't know if this one would crack the kids' market. It would be more people that are familiar with Looney Tunes. Uh, that might, I mean, that might have been. They might have looked at and they're like, how much is this thing actually going to do theatrically? It might have been that the last Space Jam hurt them too. Because I, 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 I don't know. I think the audience is different. Because like when Space Jam was a big thing and Looney Tunes were more popular – People used to watch it or it used to be on the air. You have like the you know, the little kid versions of them and everything else. Yeah. We haven't seen them. Like they're not like as in your face as they've been for years. So a lot of these these kids, they don't, like, these kids today don't really, you know, care about Wally e. Coyote and Looney Tunes. So they, no, that might they be don't. if their focus is kids audience, that could be. But this could have been a really good way to introduce them. If it was really well done, it was funny. And it, like everybody says it was really good. It might have been what they needed. But who knows? Okay. Hear me out. You've got the Looney Tunes characters. Wrestling is very popular. You have John Cena. Let's do a Space Jam movie with the Looney Tunes characters, but wrestling. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Looney sure. Tunes Slam. I don't know. There you go. Space Slam. Space Slam. That's the, there, there we go. Perfect. Space Slam. Space Slam. I want to see spa, uh, Space Slam. So the comments, uh, there, there aren't any? very many. There aren't yeah, any. There's no. There's none. What the heck is going on here? Um, I know that I think a lot of animations are going to get hit next year. Yeah. It's already getting hit, but I think it's going to get worse, guys. Well, we can talk about I was going to throw all this other stuff into it since we're talking about animation. We've got uh, the DreamWorks boss, Jeffrey Kat Katzenberg. Oh, yeah, you were talking about this. Who said that uh, AI is going to cut animation labor and production time by 90%. That doesn't even make sense. I can see... I can see it uh, cutting it a little bit. I can see it for like in-betweens or tedious tasks or something like that. But like, I don't see it being 90%. But the the, the thing is, they're going to use more and more AI, whether you and like it or not. The going to look worse and worse and worse. Yeah. I'm the, just going to say it. It's going to look worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Uh, we've got, let's see here. Uh, we'll talk about Cartoon Network. Um this one, another show got canceled. This is uh, a spinoff of Craig of the Creek. They decided not to renew this thing. Okay, I don't even so, know what it is. It, yeah, okay, so look, they've been canceling a lot of series, uh, you know, Cartoon Network series. They moved Cartoon Network Studios out of its office. Mm -hmm. They've canceled all these like Tumblr era shows. And it basically seems to me like they don't know what the hell they're doing. And even Zazlav was like, we can't crack the kids market. That well, translation, back. nothing is profitable. Go back <laughs> to the other thing you were just on with that show. They just canceled. 
it, the new regime doesn't want to do preschool shows, which is interesting because they kept all greenlighting pre preschool shows a couple years ago. And I can tell you for a fact, we were part of a, a, a group and they were Whoa. looking for they were looking for pitches for shows. And we tried to, to see about that they wanted to do our stuff. And they said, no, we're doing preschool stuff right now. Yeah. So yeah. And now they're all like, no one wants preschool stuff right now. But y'all, you all pivoted that because you couldn't find you found out you weren't the next Coco Melon. Imagine that these shows aren't the next Coco Melon, and now you're like, no, we don't want preschool shows. Well, now. I just saw an article the other day talking about all the the Bat Wheels merchandise is coming out. Well, yeah, they're, yeah, that's right. They're doing the the Bat Wheels, and they have that one Universal Monsters mashup and all yeah. that stuff. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like all over the place. Depends where you look. One place says they don't want kids preschool shows. Other places like we know we're doubling down on preschool shows. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't think it's they just know. A big I, mess. I think I think here's 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 what happened. This is my my personal theory. I think that the animation industry has spent 10 plus years listening to Tumblr and not I mean, making just, there's your first mistake and not making any money on these shows. Right. And then they saw, well, what animation is making money? Oh, that YouTube stuff, that Coco Melon. Let's, let's chase that for a while. Oh, we're not it as has big to as actually have the same, you know, have the audience and be good that the kids like, Oh, shit. right. Right. And it, uh, you know, eventually you'll get something that, you know, occasionally you'll get something that's actually pretty good, like bluey, which, you know, but it doesn't insult children. In fact, some of the, the episodes of bluey are so racy that they don't even show them on Disney plus, you know, and, and they don't want to go there. They don't want to be the ones to take that chance. But, but there was a whole, like, there's a decade of animation for basically teens and young adults, which yeah, it might've been critically lauded. It might've had a fandom. It might've even gotten a lot of views. You know, I don't know. Some of it did, some of it didn't, but it didn't move merchandise. I mean, regardless of how you feel about Steven universe, regardless of it's popular, or not popular. I don't know how popular it actually was. I know the, uh, I know the fandom of that show uh, got pretty toxic. As I time remember went on. that. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, imagine that. A show like that had a toxic fan base. You don't say. But I know the toys didn't sell. Like even McFarlane took a chance on the toys and had all these Steven Universe toys. And they went on clearance almost immediately at like every Walmart mm -hmm. you go to. Because that audience doesn't buy toys. So that's what they're kind of looking at now is they're like, okay, this stuff's so expensive. We got to sell toys. We got to sell the kids. And that's why I think Zaslav, knowing Zaslav, that's what he's thinking. He's not thinking, oh, we haven't been able to create quality programming for kids. It's like, no, we haven't been able to market this shit to kids. We need to have a show that you can sell toys because that's where a lot of the money comes from. And we basically want to make another Batman or another, because Batman, most of the money from Batman is coming from toy sales. I mean, they're, they're, they never stopped making Batman toys since like the 80s. Mm -hmm. Like there's always been Batman something on the shelf and it always sells. People know Batman and Spider-Man and these characters uh, beyond the, the TV shows, you know? So, um, I don't know guys. It's just like, I don't think Warner brothers cares about cartoons anymore. And that's sad because Warner brothers and Disney, they were the two big ones and neither one of them seem to really, at least Disney's doing something. Yeah. They're doing, they're still doing I don't know what Warner brothers is doing. They're just like, whatever we're done. We're out. We'll just take the right off and call it a day. So maybe it'll get sold to Who somebody knows? that cares. I just don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Some of the choices make sense. Other ones are just like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. So let's wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.